So you want to take your cooking with charcoal to the next level? Well, you've come to the right place because El Deuterino is going to show you how to cook like a pro over charcoal. You know, cooking with charcoal, cooking outside, whatever, it doesn't know a season. You can cook any time of the year and that's what I do. The first tool that we're going to cook on is the charcoal holder. If you're interested in one, there is a link down below with an Amazon affiliate that I have. These things are great. I very rarely cook without them. All right, let's start. Before we get too far into this cook though, we've got to talk cooking temperatures. And that all starts right down here at the bottom of the kettle. Let me show you. Here at the bottom of the kettle are air vents. This is how the air gets into our kettle. Now, the more air that we have, the hotter our burn's gonna be. That's okay if you're doing burgers or something that needs to be cooked fast, but if you're doing something that needs to be cooked slow and over indirect heat, this is how you cut the oxygen flow. And this will make your charcoal burn slower and lower. But for this cook, we're gonna do this. Open full bore. Now, there's one more part to this. The other side of the oxygen flow is right here. And in this case, all four are open, and this is how the heat escapes. You can adjust the flow as well just by doing that. And there you have it. Let's start cooking. We have our charcoal baskets down, and here they are. Just gonna pour our charcoal in like that. Put our cooking grate over, because we do want to clean that. Close the lid and we're going to let this come up to about 400 degrees and then we're going to clean the grate and start cooking. All right, we are at 400 degrees. Let's go like that. I'm going to clean the entire grate off because I got something cool to show you. Voila, now I have two direct zones in an indirect zone. And I can cook whatever I want at this point. I'm gonna start with a pork chop. Then I'm gonna add a burger into the center. And then I'm gonna add a thicker burger over there. So there we have it. We have direct, indirect, direct. Let's add some salt. Cover it up. Let's give it about four or five minutes. Check it out. We're coming in at four minutes. So I'll check our burgers. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, looking better. Looking all right. There we go, looking good. All right, let's do another four. Another four minutes are in the books. Great. Okay. Excellent. I think it's time to check some temperatures out. Coming in at about 141, 142. This one's coming in at about, I don't know, 114. This one's coming in at 111. Another four minutes are down. I think it's time to check these temps out. Wow, right there, 177, 180, perfect. Check the other side. Excellent, that looks amazing. Let's check our indirect one. Uh, coming in about 135. That is probably the juiciest burger you could ever have. You could actually eat this burger at this point. Excellent. Let's check this one out. Ah, coming in at about 121, 122. Still got a ways to go, but that's because it's just so huge. I'm gonna leave it open like this for the next little bit. Put that burger over there to give it a little sear. And I'm just gonna let this one rest right there for a while. You know, we're down about two minutes and here's the thing. Sometimes just finding that hot spot on your grill makes all the difference. We had our burger over here. And since I moved it over here, it's gotten a little darker and the temperatures come up. So we're hitting about 142 now. Let's remove it, put it into our cool zone. Now this one here, coming in about 154 but that's what I'm looking for right there I don't want I didn't like that red that I was seeing earlier not that there's anything wrong with it it's just it's not appealing 
for when somebody wants to eat. But let me tell you, this burger is going to be extremely juicy. So this is probably the best example right now that I have for the indirect heating versus the direct heating. I love this charcoal holder or charcoal basket because I can do this. The charcoal basket makes direct and indirect cooking such a breeze, it really does. The two zones of the cooking are well defined and you can see why a lot of people prefer the charcoal basket. There you go, I think it's time to take them off. There you have it. Anybody interested in a pork chop or burgers? Because there you go. For me, cooking over the charcoal holder is totally the way to go. It really helps to find that two zone cooking. Much better than the Vortex, but the Vortex is amazing when it comes to heat and cooking fast. All right, let's check out the Vortex. Now the Vortex is kind of cool because you can cook this way and just add your charcoal in, or you can cook this way and add your charcoal. What I love about the Vortex is if you cook this way, the heat comes right out and you can indirect cook here, or if you wanted to, like we're gonna make a hamburger, you can cook it right here. Time to cook some burgers over the Vortex. We already got our charcoal started. And there you go. We're gonna put our grate over, because remember we gotta clean our grate. Put our lid on, that way the grate heats up and everything else inside heats up, and then we can cook. The temperature over the charcoal is sitting at just a little bit over 400 degrees. So this is where I'm just gonna come in, clean up my cooking area. For this cook, we're doing burgers, so I'm going to do a pub burger, and then just a regular burger. We're gonna let these sit on here for about five minutes. We're gonna cover the grill, and then let them cook. Oh, nice, very good. Looks good. I'm thinking maybe five minutes might be just too long, so this time I'm gonna give them about four minutes. And then we're gonna check the internal temp if we're getting close, then we may just move them over here to the side for the indirect heating. Another four minutes is down. I just wanna give this one a poke, see where we're standing at. Uh, 143, 147. Uh, the edges are still coming along about 122. That's a 156. Give it a flip. Check this one out. Coming in at about 102. The edges are a little bit hotter. Great. Let's give it a flip. Gosh, these are looking so good. All right. At this point, I'm just going to leave these things open face like this and cook away. And this one is done, but I'm just going to put it off here to the side into the indirect zone. This one is not. The center part was sitting at about 120, I believe. Yeah. Oh, hey, we're getting somewhere. Oh, that's perfect. I guess we're done. Move it off to the side. Let these things rest for a moment. You want a pork chop or do you want a burger? It's really that simple. The biggest thing is you gotta watch it and you gotta have patience. I've said that all along. Patience and just keeping an eye on it. But I'll tell you what. That's good. That's just salt and the flavor from that charcoal. Very good. Messy too, which I like. So let's take a look at the tools that we used. We started, of course, with our charcoal chimney. Gotta have that fire, right? We clean the grates off every time. This is a Cuisinart grate cleaner. I don't know, there's a link down below. A good thermometer is very nice to have. I think I have a link down below to a thermometer as well, but a must. You saw where we cooked with our charcoal holders. Well, there you go, there they are. These are my favorite. So easy to cook with. There is a link down below as well. There's a link down below for all of this. And of course our Vortex. Now you can cook like a pro. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. I'm still learning. We do have my buddy Regis from Jerk Charcoal coming by and he's gonna show us how to cook with lump, so we'll just continue down that journey. I don't really know how to cook with lump. I'm gonna admit it right now done it before. I'm not ashamed of it. I want to learn. 
So he's going to show us. So we'll see that in our next video when it comes to this. But from here on out, you and I, we both know how to cook over charcoal. And that's kind of what we're going to be doing is cooking over charcoal. All right. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Peace, my friends. Before we get too far into this cook, though, we got to cock. Before we get too far into this cook, though, we've got to cock. <laughs> Before we get into. <laughs> Before we get too far into this cook though, we've got to talk cooking temperatures. There you have it. Anybody interested in a pork chop or burgers? Because man, these, there you have it. Anybody interested in a pork chop? Or... <laughs> there you have it. Anybody interested in a pork chop or burgers? Because there you go. For me, cooking over that charcoal,